Hey everybody, just doing a little bit of an update. So as always, I'm doing my best to upgrade, improve, and enlarge all the enclosures that all of our animals are being kept in here. Uh, because as a lot of people did when they first got started, they stuck with the, want the different standard sizes that honestly were too small. And so because of that, I am, as I can, upgrading all of the different enclosures. So with that in mind, today the rhino rat snakes are getting new digs. So when we first look at this guy, so here's our male. So here's our new papa who is up here. He's a lot more wiry than the female is, but this is a 36 here. We're just going to come back out. So this is a 36 by 18 by 18. These guys are, par are fairly small. Uh, semi-arboreal snakes, very slender bodied. This is, I think, good for a single one. Um, I was going to keep them in a pair, but he is very hit or miss on the times that he's actually eating. He doesn't eat consistently, but he's putting on weight and he's growing in size, so that's good. But between that and then the female, when they were housed together, um, she was eating all the food. I'm gonna house them separately. Not only that, but the female is taking a little bit longer to bounce back from laying her eggs as well. So I am leaving them uh, separated for the time being. So there he is. There's his cute little face. I'm gonna zoom in right there. Come on, come on, there we go. He's a good looking boy. So as you can see, he has more of that turquoise color that it'll be a little while before the babies, uh, hopefully A, they get established, but B, uh, they need to take some size and time to grow from that gray scale and through that autogenetic change turn to the really nice bright green and or this blue green teal color that this guy is so in here i'm going to zoom back out again um this enclosure has uvb light it has a few live plants this one's some bamboo that grass little ferny thing over in the back and as this grows and gets more established these are going to fill out We'll see about the bamboo. The bamboo was pulled out of another cage um, that was also getting upgraded and it's not doing so hot. So we'll see if it comes back. If not, oh well. Um, but that's why we have all this other stuff to help fill it in. So as these get larger, this will fill out throughout the rest of the enclosure as well. Not to mention we have the ability with all of my other different uh, artificial plants like this guy and the vines and things to fill this out. Um, this enclosure used to be one of my display ones that I would take to the reptile shows, but it was getting a little scratched up just in travel and moving. And as it starts to get a little bit more scratched up, it doesn't really look as good. It doesn't present as good. And that's kind of the goal for the shows and the presentations that I'm having is I want them to look good and I want it to look really nice. And even though I can have the inside look really good, the outside, if it's all scratched, doesn't look great. And then honestly, even if I would put, uh, you know, stickers and stuff all over the side. It just doesn't quite present as professional enough for me because I want to try to make a good example. I decided to bring it back and this will be the setup for the mail. So with that being said, we're going to go down because it's stacked on top of each other. We're going to go check out the female one because we just put her in here as well. So here's our female who actually, if you look at her body size, she is doing pretty good, but she was eating fairly inconsistently and she still only really wants live mice right now. Um, as a whole, it seems like Asian rat snakes really seem to like mice, at least with the several species that I work with. They really prefer mice over rats. I'm not sure why that is, comparable size or whatever, but she's eating only live mice right now for the most part, which is okay. I have a few. It's not the end of the world. Um, but as we zoom out here, so this was um, the more the very first one that I got in uh, as another display case, but it was honestly really tall. So this cage is actually 24 by 18 by 24 by 36 so 36 24 24 this was going to be the enclosure that i kept the pair of them in but as i had mentioned before i they're just not really healthy enough and stable enough to where i want to be able to do that not to say that you know they're unhealthy animals by any stretch of the imagination i just think that housing them separately I have the ability to do so, and I'm going to do so, and only pair them when it comes time to breeding, and I'm perfectly fine with that. Um, as with the male's cage above, we have multiple hides, multiple live plants, um, nice deep substrate, and plenty of artificial branches and climbing branches. For these PVC cages, I don't really do the foamed-in background as much. Maybe one of these days, um, you know, if we get a, if we're a little bit more well to do, and this really takes off a little bit more. Um, maybe I'll uh, go down and check out Universal Rock and order some different backgrounds from them 
then I'll deck out a lot of these guys as well. But we're doing baby steps as we can as we move along, slowly improving. We have another little T5 UV strip here. Um, I make sure that even though the T5 is one of the more efficient uh, ultraviolet outputs along with VivTech, um, the new LED uh, LED light, the new LED UVA and UVB light bulbs, um, these guys are, they do prefer kind of diluted light at a lot of times. And so I make sure that I provide lots of places for them to still be out during the day when the light's on because it's a 12 hour cycle to allow them to still be able to hide in cryptic bask if they so choose and perch and move around. Being semi-arboreal, I make sure that I give them lots of places to climb on and things like that with this big, uh, big, big branches and things right here. So we're gonna give them time to feel established. This was a smaller, quicker video, but I just wanna kinda give a really cool little update on how everything is going with these guys. Um, these guys are being housed in our uh, cool reptile room. I used to call it the gecko room. But honestly, uh, we're kind of phasing out a lot of the geckos to where we're upgrading uh, the enclosures of the ones that we are keeping, um, really trimming down how many we have because honestly, they would be more appreciated for someone who more specializes in crested geckos. We're still always going to have a few, but we are kind of changing how we're doing things around a little bit. Um, so I guess we're just going to call it the cool weather or the cool reptile room or the cold reptile room. I don't know. Maybe uh, any ideas of how I really want to call that gecko room really kind of float off the tongue. But it's going to be slowly phased out to be not quite as many geckos with all of the other species and snakes that we're going to have in here. But that being said, I hope you guys liked these enclosures. Um, forgive my old man noise as I move up. So we're going to come right back up here. Check out this again. Up oh, there he is. He's over there in the corner back there. Seems like whenever you get an arboreal snake or any snake that isn't like a really sedentary terrestrial snake, like a ball python, they always just start climbing and moving around and looking for places maybe to escape or just to climb and get the high point vantage. Whereas a more terrestrial snake will immediately find one of the hides and curl up. And that's where these guys, um, actually the female lately has been spending a lot of time under her hide. He's been out and about and feeling much more adventurous as of late as well. Maybe with the weather and everything heating up, uh, that's what he's doing. But again, Hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Just a quick little life update for everybody going on. Just wanted to show off another really cool way to do an enclosure for these guys. Not necessarily perfect, not everything I would like to do in the end. I wish I could get a few more live plants in here. I wish I could get more um, like the, you know, like the, the nicer rock backgrounds and things like that for more of a platform. Like the Japanese rat snake has a nice little like cave perch that she likes to hide in as well. But we'll get there when we get there. I just wanted to upgrade their, uh, just upgrade their enclosures as we continue to move and upgrade the room in general. So hope everyone's having a great day. Hope you enjoyed this video. We're gonna end a little bit more on his cute little face. There he is. And hope everyone's having a great day. And we will check you next time.